which one of the following statements is correct with respect to the formation of federation according to the government of india act of 1935 the accession of the provinces to the federation of india was mandatory the accession of the three states to the federation depends upon the instrument of accession signed by the ruler and all the restory powers were given to the states. So states here means princely states. Okay. See, according to the provision of Government of India Act of 1935, they plan to set up an All India Federation. Government of India Act plan for an All India Federation. And among that act, the provisions was the provinces of the federation, that is, the provinces must be assessed toward the federation. That is, provinces must be a part of the federation. That was a compulsory provision. So, one is right here. And regarding to the option were given to whom? The princely state. That whether they can join or not to join, it's up to their wish. The joining to the federation will be based on instrument of accession. That is, they will be signing an agreement. That is, based on so and so principles, we are ready to join the federation. Likewise, they can sign an uh, instrument of accession. And also, the restory powers were allocated to whom the princely states concerned. So, that should be also right here. 2 is also right. So, answer becomes option C that is both 1 and 2. Clear? Next one, regarding vote on account, which of the following statements is not correct? Clear? It can be passed only in the Lok Sabha. It is passed before the voting of demands for grants is passed. It is passed after the appropriation bill is passed. It deals only with expenditure and not about revenue receipts. So, what is actually a vote on account? You might have known this. Is, this is regarding the budget. So, during the budget passage, there is a concept called vote on account. See, actually, what is the budget enacting procedure? First of all, presentation of a budget. Then, second stage, general discussion. Then, scrutiny by departmental committees, then voting on demand for grants, then passing of appropriation bill, then passing of financial bill. This is the procedure for the enactment of a budget. So, this entire procedure, first of all, if the money has been withdrawn from the Consolidated Fund of India, parliamentary approval is needed, right? So, after the end of this procedure only, the money can be withdrawn from the Consolidated Fund of India. But see, to meet the daily expenses, government need fund. So, if we wait till the end of the enactment of the budget, it takes a long time. But at the same time, we have to carry on the administration as well. So, what happened means, we will pass an appropriation account, sorry, we will pass an account card, vote on account. This is after the general discussion, the parliament, so the Lok Sabha, why? Because budget is present in the Lok Sabha and the voting for demand of grants and this vote on account is done where? Only in the Lok Sabha only. Clear? So, after the general discussion, normally as a convention, parliament passes this, sorry, the Lok Sabha alone passes this vote on account. That means to meet the temporary, to meet the temporary expenses for the administration, expenditure for two months can be withdrawn. That is, out of the total estimated expenditure of the financial year, one-sixth amount can be withdrawn through the vote on account. I repeat once again, this entire process takes much time. But to meet the daily expenses, we need fund. So, to take into consideration about that issue, after the general discussion, we pass this vote on account in the Lok Sabha to meet the daily expenses approximate for two months. That is, out of the total expenditure of that estimated financial year, one-sixth amount can be withdrawn. Normally, as a convention, this will be passed by uh, the Lok Sabha. As a convention, they passes this vote on account. Then only the remaining procedure takes uh, place. Clear? So, this is what regarding vote on account. And here only, expenditure side is mentioned. See, normally in case of budget, the estimated expenditure as well as estimated revenues are being placed under the budget. But in case of vote on account, only expenditure side is mentioned though. Clear? So, after general discussion, vote on account, then other things follows. Clear? 
So regarding water on account, which of the following statements is not correct is asked here. It can be passed only in the Lok Sabha. That's a correct statement. Clear? It is passed before the voting on demand for grants is passed. That is also right statement. It is passed after the appropriation bill is passed. No. It is also, water on account is passed before the appropriation bill is passed. See, what is appropriation bill? Appropriation means if you are to withdraw the fund from the Consolidated Fund of India, we must in parliamentary approval. That is what by appropriation bill. So, before this itself, the water on account is passed and statement says that it is passed after the appropriation bill is passed. So, our correct answer to this question of see why because statement asked here, we have to find out the not correct one. Clear? It deals only with the expenditure side, that is a correct statement and not about revenue receipts. That is also a fine statement. Clear? Answer is option C. Clear? Consider the following provisions under the directive principles of state policy as enshrined in the constitution of India. Raise the level of nutrition and improve public health, social and cultural opportunities for all workers, promoting education and economic interest of SEST community, opportunities for healthy development of children. See the question again, which of the above are the socialist principles that are reflected in the DPSP? See when we study DPSP, even though the constitution does not classify as such, but when we go through the provisions, we can classify the DPSP into socialist principles, Gandhian principles or liberal intellectual principles. So the question asked here is that among these four DPSPs, which among reflects socialist principles? Okay. So, to raise the level of nutrition and to public health, this is Article 47. Okay, to raise the level of nutrition and to improve public health, that is a social principles. Again, social and cultural opportunities for all workers, that comes under Article 43, that is also a social principle. Again, promoting educational, edu economic interest of SCST community comes under Article 46. This reflects Gandhian ideologies. So, among these options, promoting education, economic interest of SCST community reflects Gandhian ideologies. So, three should not be there in your answer. We can eliminate A, eliminate B, as well as eliminate D. We directly reach the answer that is option C, 1, 1, 1 2, 1, 4 is our answer. And healthy development of children also comes under the socialist principles. Clear?